recently I was talking to a buddy of mine who's a really great player about one of the most unused shots in tennis. It's also an underrated shot in tennis. You've all heard and seen and tried the backhand slice. Oftentimes we don't use the forehand slice. The best way to use a forehand slice or a chip shot is take the continental grip. Where you find the continental grip, take your fingers together on the side of the racket, slide it down like that. These are called bevels. So you got one, two, three, and then you got four and five. But you're gonna take your index knuckle and place it on two. Then you find your continental grip like that. Now, you do a, a slice forehand a lot of times, sometimes you don't even realize it. You're returning serve and the ball comes fast and you might just block it back. That's a great time to use it. The other times where you're running off the court and you just try to put out your racket and you go underneath the ball. Another time is when the ball is short, you might put your racket underneath and you slide it underneath. What you got to be careful of when you do this is that you don't direct the band. We're not band directors here, we're tennis players. So one way you should do that is take the racket close to your body rather than taking a big backswing. If I take a big backswing, it flies on me. I want to keep the racket close to me, much like a volley, and just try to slide my racket through. When you play tennis, you hit all kinds of different shots. It's kind of like your tool chest. Your shots are different shots for different situations. If I got an easy ball, I might drive it with some big top spin. If I've got a defensive shot, I might go to the chip shot or play some defense. Okay? Golfers call it about having different shots in their bag or what clubs they have in their bag because they have to hit different shots. Alright? So I like to have myself and all players I teach start out in the continental grip when you're returning serve. Alright, that way you can handle your backhand without having to make a grip change. It's a lot easier to turn it into your forehand grip if you want to do a forehand drive. But by being in a backhand grip, you're in position to where you can hit your backhand and you could also block the serve. If it's a really fast serve, you might not have time to change your grip and drive it. Please stick with the continental grip. Very important when you hit any ground stroke is that you move through it. 80% of all tennis errors are footwork related. So if your chip shot or your slice is falling short, it's because you're stopping. You don't want to stop because it's like you run into a brick wall. So if I was returning serve, I see it and I make sure that I move a step through it. You don't have to approach the net, you can, but if you do move your feet and want to come back, you're already moving and you're exiting through your shot, okay? Try the chip forehand. You might like it, your opponents might not like it, and that's the name of the game. Have a great day.